Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you all here. So in this video, I want to talk about single cell RNA sequencing technology. In this video, I intend to cover the following points. I want to talk about the differences between single cell and bulk RNA sequencing technology, some advantages of using this method, basic terminologies used while processing the data, currently available single cell RNA sequencing technology and some packages to analyze this data, and lastly, talking about SIRAT, which is also a package to analyze single cell RNA-seq data and talking more about SIRAT object. Before I jump into explaining what is single cell RNA sequencing technology, uh, I want to quickly talk about uh, bulk RNA sequencing. So in bulk RNA sequencing method, we extract RNA from each cell and what we get is the average gene expression across all the cells. And hence, that makes it impossible for us to compare differences in gene expression between the cells. And this model a, will not be the right model to apply to, understand, to a heterogeneous system to understand the heterogeneity in that system. And hence, we require a single something like single cell RNA sequencing uh, technology where we again extract RNA from all the cells. But in this case, we do not average out the expression. We quantify, we sequence the RNA from each cell and quantify expression for each cell. So that gives us a more granular or a more, a better resolution at expression profiles at the cellular level. And that allows us to compare the expression between the cells. Now let's talk about some basic terminologies that are used when we are processing uh, single cell RNA-seq data. So starting with UMIs, UMIs are unique molecular identifiers and these are molecular tags that can be applied to detect and quantify the unique transcripts. What we refer to as features in the single cell data are nothing but genes. Barcodes are DNA barcodes which are tags to identify uh, reads that originate from the same cell. Count matrix, feature barcode matrix or gene barcode matrix is nothing but a matrix of counts that represent the number of reads which map to each feature or gene within each cell. In one of my videos, I have explained how gene expression is measured and how count matrix is generated based on gene expression uh, for bulk RNA-seq data. If you're interested to know more about it, make sure you check out the video, uh, which I might link it in the video or I might put it in the description below. So make sure you check that out. And lastly, uh, doublets are nothing but when two cells are encapsulated into one reaction volume. Talking about different uh, platforms to sequence uh, single cell RNA uh, seq data, there are a number of technologies uh, that have been proposed for single cell transcriptomic studies uh, and they are listed in the table here. So one major difference between these methods is that some of them can produce full length or nearly full length transcript sequencing data, uh, whereas others only capture and sequence the three prime end or the five prime end. It's important for us to know the difference uh, before we start processing the data from any of these uh, platforms. If you're interested in reading more about the specific differences and advantages and disadvantages of these methods, uh, I'll link the paper in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Here I have listed some uh, popular uh, packages uh, to process single cell RNA-seq data. So in R, we have single cell experiment, uh, Surat, Monocle 3 Skater, and in Python, we have ScanPy. Since I use a Surat R package to process and analyze single cell RNA-seq data, uh, I thought about orienting you all to a Surat object. Uh, so basically this is how a Surat object looks like and it has a lot of slots which store different kinds of information about, uh, uh, about our experiment. So Surat allows us to store uh, one or multiple experiments in the assay slot. So for example, we can store single cell RNA-seq as well as single cell ATAC-seq uh, experiment in the assay uh, slot. We can also access information about each cell and number of features and original identity in the metadata slot. And it also allows us to store more kinds of information about our uh, cells in the metadata. We can also access uh, different uh, reductions in terms of dimensionality reductions that have been performed on our data in the reduction slot. And the command slot gives us information about all the commands uh, that have been run on the Serat object. 
this is a very high level overview of a serrat object and much of this will make sense once we start uh, using the serrat object and processing the data but this is just a basic introduction of how a serrat object looks like so this was a quick and short introduction to single cell rna sequencing technology i hope you found this helpful in the next video i plan to retrieve a publicly available single cell rna sequencing data and i plan to demonstrate uh, reading the data in r performing quality control and filtering steps uh, using serrat r package if you found this video helpful uh, please make sure to hit the subscribe button like the video and share it and leave your comments under the comment section until next time see you